public jeering of Meghan by a WME executive after hiring a Hollywood agency to advance her career domestically, Meghan Markle won't receive any royal treatment. A former friend and well-known American claims that Michael won't receive special treatment and will only be guaranteed one thing from the partnership, which is paying out sizable amounts of commission. Marco is signed into powerhouse Hollywood player Harry Emanuel at the William Morris Endeavor Agency to promote her business and charitable endeavors. According to Mandel, Marco will be required to pay the agent 10% of every contract, same like all other WME clients. Charities and nonprofits like Archwell routinely get payments from top Hollywood talent agencies for their services. Mandel doesn't know how the Ari's agency, WME, would help the former Suits actress's career, but the comedian knows as a client of the agency himself that they usually get 10 commissions, and even Markled, despite her royal ties, will be obliged to pay those costs. Mandel was questioned on Marco's commercial interactions with WME. He stated backstage on the America's Got Talent red carpet, I don't know specifically what WME brings to the table for someone like Megan, but I will tell you that they take 10 off the table for all of us, according to Bark. Regarding Meghan Markle's essay, Jack on X WME joked sarcastically. One diner in posh Brentwood witnessed a well-known WME executive discuss his modus operandi a bit too loudly after another, so they recorded it. The audio was audible. If the watch or bracelet is on, bet that arm is lifted for the photograph, the executive remarked, partly in jest and half seriously. Despite knowing their customer, they are delighted to accept payment and work towards achievement. Because of this, all of their PR attempts have been ineffective and stupid as they shot themselves. Just as a WME executive had expected, they just comply with her requests, accept payment, and leave Germany. Meghan chose to wear a tennis pinky ring by Chiffon and Company that was manufactured in 1972 and is expected to sell for $2,800. Bonus points go to not one, but two pinky rings for the ongoing dearth of engagement rings. According to Chiffon and Company, the ring represents women in athletics, thus it may have a unique relation to the Invictus Games. The mother of two gave up the enigmatic Lorraine Schwartz ring, which has a tumultuous history and wore the 1972 tennis band instead. The Lorraine Schwartz pinky ring, which Meghan chose to use when she gave a speech at the Invictus Games in 2021, has been the subject of debate for a while. Prior to explaining that they were referring to a different ring, Prince Harry and Meghan refuted reports that the band was made with diamonds that were given to the couple by an unknown Middle Eastern source. They first claimed that the item was obtained by a stylist on the shoot straight from the designer and that it had no connection to a mysterious donor in the Middle East but rather was found in a stunning Utah location. Later, they withdrew the denial and said that they were really referring to a separate ring. The Lorraine Schwartz ring in question on her right hand is not mentioned again, leaving open the possibility that Meghan is concealing information regarding the origin of the diamond which was first spotted on a finger in October 2020. It's unclear if Meghan got the present when she was still a working royal or after she completed her final formal responsibilities in early March 2020 whether the diamonds did, in fact, originate from the Middle East. There's always a chance that she took a private excursion even if she didn't make an official trip to the area. There is no public record of Meghan receiving any diamonds, and Buckingham Palace only makes a list of items that royals receive when serving abroad or in the UK.